Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffee to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Please hold. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Please hold. I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. 
Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Please hold. segment here, just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running loud over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. service or something. My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys, can you send some guys up to get this done? Please hold it. Supervisor, I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you.
I must go inside. I must pay for my sins. I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please hold.
thing his house stays that clean. Like, maybe to disguise the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Please hold. my house. I heard something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! Please hold.
about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while. But then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Please hold. Persons alert authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities.
again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Please hold it.
sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this uh, nasty smell. Please hold.
ever seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Sod, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I'd have grabbed you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Please hold. Please hold. Mice. 
one of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, otherwise known as the Smart Mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the Smart Mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. of evolution, or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work employee. Our eyes rest upon me. followed 
every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter has called pest control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye.
problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Please hold.
please hold. finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor? I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Please hold.
Sarah told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Please hold.
Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee.
called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Please hold. from your company one of your home security installation services and not a week later I'm still getting break-ins as I mentioned prior someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing they could be some insane serial killer for all we know all they do is sing at night but no one in my family feels safe anymore none of your stupid security alarms even went off please hold Dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. 
know what I mean. I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee.
me back, please! Please hold. might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Please hold We haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold.
Once more, Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Please hold.
I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Please hold. someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Please hold it. told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move, the way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Please hold. Please hold. worried that whatever produced this might still be 
in the house? Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this 
strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Please hold. and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Please hold. already, but he said to call here, so we've been, um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Please hold.
please hold. that you sent us, but we're still not feeling great. I've been having an extra terrible vivid sleep paralysis, and my husband has started using a machine for sleep apnea now, so that's lovely. I think we'll be getting in touch with a new doctor, so I suppose we're no longer in need of your services. Have a good day.
Please hold.
Please hold. Please hold. Yeah. 